welcome back to another video. Today's gonna to be a nice little video, nice little, sort of shorter video, nice little relaxed one. But yeah, my main focus isn't massively on the fishing today. I know Jordan obviously wants to try and do quite well, but genuinely not that bothered even if I blank. I'm just here to talk to you guys. I've got an announcement for you and there's gonna be a giveaway coming up. So stick around later for that, for details of how to enter your chance to win. A 50 pound voucher for Angling Direct. Well, I'm all set up. It took a lot longer than I wanted to. I mean, I just wasn't prepared for the trip really, because like I say, this video is more about announcing and giveaways and uh, not so focused on the fishing as much. Obviously, I still want to catch a couple of fish, but say so if I don't, I don't. But I've got one rod punched out towards that orange bushy overhang. And I've got my left hand rod down towards those lilies there's pads in there so i'm fishing with parker baits i've got a cork dust wafter which is one of these fruit and nuts match the hatch and that is down in the margin i've put a bit of magic dust on there as well just to give it an extra boost and then on the right hand one i'm fishing an og fruit and nut 14 mil with a yellow topper and I've covered my mesh bags. I've put mesh bags on, I've covered it in a flat spot, which is awesome stuff. It absolutely stinks. And uh, happy days, that's how I'm fishing today. And I'm with Jordan today, but my swim is like around the corner from Jordan. So I'm gonna have to run. I don't advise leaving your rods, guys. Honestly, please don't ever leave your rods. Don't do what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm just gonna go over and have a quick chat with him. And I'll be straight back. Here he is, the old bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. Hiding away, you had a fish already? Yeah, snotty bream. Snotty bream, it's all right, it's more than I've had. But um, that come out straight away, didn't it, pretty much? Yeah, I mean, that's out. Didn't even have you, well, did you need it? Uh, no. <laughs> no. no. Happy days. Oh, yeah, back on the money, PVA bagging. PVA See bagging. Goes. Yeah. And where have you got your rods? <clears throat> the edge of these pads here. The last pad that comes out and then one just fishes Yeah, can't quite pick that up on camera. The <coughs> fish has just swirled right here. I don't know if you can see the ripples. So uh, Jordan's fishing there. I've just spoken to some guy fishing on peg number one and it's the first time he's ever fished in the UK. He's from South Africa, which is pretty awesome. So, I mean, I wanted to try and give him a few tips, but you know what I mean? I didn't want to be like the kind of guy that's like, you know, when you turn up somewhere and someone's like, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. So I was just like, I just left him to it. I just said, I've fished here a couple of times, which I have. And I just said, I'm not exactly an expert, so, which I'm not. So <laughs> at least I was honest. First fish of the day in the onion bag. <sighs> For God's sake, bloody Barry. Oh my God, it's moving. Oh, right, we've unhooked it. Go on. Go swim over to Jordan, swim. There she goes. Happy days. So we've been here a couple of hours now. The sun's come out. Lovely, we've both had a bream. And I've just had a couple of taps on that right-hand rod. Um, just single bites, beep, beep. Do you know what I mean? Those sorts, those sorts of bites. Um, I'm wondering if there's any interest in the bait down there. But like I say, I'm not too much focused on the fishing today. It'd be nice to go and catch a couple of carp, but it's probably time I make this announcement. As you can see, I'm wearing the Parker Bait hat. I had a phone call last week from Ben, phoned me up. He said, Aaron, I love what you're doing. Honestly, I really want you to work with us. And that's what he said, basically. So I'm happy to announce that I am now working with Parker Bates. I'm a creative ambassador, which means I'm going to be continuing to create my content like I do. Um, ben watches my videos, loves them, says he can see that I'm very... I get a lot of messages from people saying that I'm quite enthusiastic on the bank and stuff, which I, I, I quite find that quite nice. Do you know what I mean? I quite find that quite nice. It's just, it's nice to hear positive comments like that. 
um, and Ben can see I'm into my fishing, into my videos, and he just basically wants to work with me. So I'm very, very happy to announce that I'm working with Parker Bates. And that isn't gonna change anything. Like I say, I'm gonna continue to make my videos, continue to make my content. It just means that I can push his bait out to you guys, as well as he can push my videos out to his customers as well. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. I'm not gonna force the bait down your throat in every video and say, look, you have to go and buy it, you have to go and buy it. But trust me, it is a cracking bait. I mean, it's the best freezer baits I've ever used. And since I've been carp fishing, I've pretty much, it's all I've ever really used. Um, I have tried the odd different company here or there. Won't go into details, but I mean, I would not be involved with Parker Baits if I didn't truly believe in the product, didn't truly believe in the vision and the goals and the, the sort of way that they want to go. And you know, the passion that Ben has and, and Tom works so hard. Um, well, everybody involved with Parker Baits works so hard to make sure that they produce the best bait money can buy at the best price. And I know that their customer satisfaction means everything to them. That they put in so much hard work to make sure that they retain their customers and deliver the best product that they possibly can. You guys won't be disappointed. I'm just going to show you a little clip now of me going down to Parker Baits, where it's all made. And I'm going to introduce Ben. If you haven't seen or don't know anything about what the company are about, they make bait for carp fishing, but also you can use it in other kinds of fishing. Here's Ben with more details about Parker Baits. I am at the home of Parker Baits, the freshest bait in the game. Let's go and take a look inside. Yeah, so here I am down at Parker Baits HQ. I'm with Ben. How's it going, guys? All right, Ben. Ben, just for anybody that watches the videos on yeah. my channel, yeah. um, obviously some guys might not know about Parker Bates. Can you just tell me quickly a bit about who you are and what you guys do? Yeah, yeah, no problem. So Parker Bates, what are we? We're a passionate, that's the, that's the key word for us. We're a passionate family-run business. And it's literally me, my brother, my mum, my dad, my granddad even gets involved. We're a small business. We've been established now. We, we, we launched August um, 1st last year and it's went above, way above and beyond we ever expected Parker yeah. Bates to go, yeah. but going the right way. And um, customers are definitely starting to realize up and down the country, the products we're giving them as a business, it's fresh, the nutritional values through the roof, and it's just all round a very, I would say a balanced price, but also a balanced bait and just a great product. So yeah, there it is a bit more of an insight on Parker Bates, mate. Excellent, and just a quick uh, little, one on the nutritional value as yep. well. You guys obviously don't boil your baits. Do you want to just Yeah, so, um, okay, fine. So steaming, the steaming process. So here at Parker Baits, like Aaron just mentioned, we obviously steam our baits. Now, when you boil a bait, over 60% of the nutritional value actually gets pulled away from it. Therefore, when you boil a bait, it physically goes under water. The, the water almost saps that almost uh, liquid foods, flavorings, to a degree, it comes out the bait. The water smells better than the boilies themselves. When you steam a bait, just over 20%, so it's no different. The best way, I like my brother, the way he puts it across, it's almost like your vegetables or your chicken. You cook, cook, cook your vegetables with a steam, they taste better. Yeah. I don't know, there's more moisture level in there with them. With a steam, when you boil these again, you get the same. It's just over 20% of the nutritional values that you lose. Therefore, when you are on a bank, I'm not saying boiled baits are rubbish, I'm not saying that, but if you, I'm saying if you are on a bank, it may give you an advantage if someone's fishing a boiled bait next to a steam bait. As you're locking the value. You're, you're locking, locking that nutritional value. In. And the, the other thing, key thing with us is we steam for as short a period of time as humanly possible. Yeah. Therefore, if you do that, again, if you steam, steam the, it's the same with a boil. If you boil the death out of it or steam the death out of it, you're just going to take it out anyway. Yeah. So we, we, do a, we do a steam for a shorter period of time, locking the nutritional value and just touching off the back of that as well. Both of our baits, when we do two, two baits here at Parker, we do an OG fish, which consists of squid, octopus and chilli. And the fruit and nut is um, coconut, chocolate, orange and peanut. Bespoke flavourings we've got made. And um, yeah, there you go. They're, 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 like I said, there's a bit more of an insight on what we do, the steaming, the flavourings that go into our baits. Like I said at the beginning, where we started and where we're going. Um, like I said, join the Parker Baits way, baby. It, yeah. Get like, on it. There Get it on is. It. Yeah. And like I say, these guys are, are very, very helpful to, to me and they've actually asked me to be an ambassador for the, for the company as well. And trust me, I would not get involved with these guys if I did not believe in the product or believe in what they're doing and the direction that they're going in because I know how passionate Ben is about it. Um, I've been following it since day one and to be able to use the products and talk about the products and you know include them in my videos going forward is definitely something that I'm excited about and you will be seeing a lot more of the products and the reviews and things like that of me using the baits and just the way that I use them in my videos going forwards. So not only do we just we steam our baits here at Parker Baits, we double dust them which is something fresh and completely new 
to the cart world, the cart market, if you like. So when they come out of the roller, they get dusted. When they come out of that steamer, they get dusted again. So what is the dust? It's a 20% version of our magic dust. It wouldn't be feasible as a business to put the magic du the dust on because it costs so much to make. Now what we've done is we've refined it, taken a few ingredients out, but still kept in some key ones and made a 20% version. So what I do is I lubricate the baits with a, with a, with a special liquid. And what you'll find is there, there's tens of thousands of different food particles all over. These are the chops, by the way, guys. So if you're wondering what, what they are, they don't look like boilies. We do it in this form because then they get put through a chopper and that's how we make our chops here at Parker Bates. So they've got the same nutritional value as a boilie, but obviously they're just in a stick form. So there it is. There you go. Good days, happy days. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible, mate. So like I said, in future videos coming up, you will see me using Parker Bates. Um, there's my sort of mesh bags and in there I've got, in there, I'll tell you what actually, that's a lot better. This is the chops in fruit and nut and 10 mil in fruit and nut. And what I've done is I've combined them. I've also crushed up some 14 mils and put in there. And I've, um, I've absolutely glugged it in the fruit and nut sauce, the OG fruit and nut sauce, which smells super, super sweet. And uh, then I've sprinkled some magic dust over the top, so that is in my mesh bags. And if you do decide you want to give Parker Bates a try and you do want to give it a go, then you can use my code. They've given me a discount code for you guys to use so that you can get involved. 10% off your first order if you use code South Coast Angler at checkout. All in capital letters, no spaces. Get over there, make sure you get yourself a discount, save yourself some money and get yourself onto the best freezer bait, the freshest bait in the game. So I'm in Jordan's swim now. You excited for this giveaway? Yeah. You're going to enter it? Yeah. You're going to win it? No. You probably will. Hopefully. If you win it, will you gift it to somebody? No. Absolutely <laughs> not. But how bad is that going to look if you win the if you win the giveaway? That's going to look so bad. It's your fault. It's not my fault. More details coming soon. Please like the video. It's coming up to about one o'clock now in the afternoon. It's been a very slow morning. Just a bream each, that's all we've had. No carp have been spotted on the lake today at all. Um, I actually tell a lie, I saw one jump over there somewhere. It's not really my area of water, it's sort of those swims. So it was probably about eight pound mirror. See it jump, it come right out the water. But um, yeah, I don't know if uh, I've managed to get, oh, what was that noise? I think it was a train on it. Let me get over here. I'm going to show you quickly, actually, um, where I've been baiting up because there was a couple of guys fishing here this morning when I got here. And I asked them if they were fishing this, these lily pads. Obviously, they were here first. Although it's not really their water, but I just, you know, it's nice to have a bit of courtesy. So I asked them if they were fishing these pads. They said no. So I've put a bit of bait in around, around the edge of these lilies here. I got a wafter in there, fruit and that wafter in there. So yeah, sun's come out. Absolute glorious day. A fish on the bank would be nice. Just had an interestingly weird drop back on that right hand rod. I went over there and tightened up the line. Just reeled it half a turn, just to tighten the line up. And it's just settled again now, so that was very, Odd. Well, it's there. He's caught another one. What is it? I don't want to catch breeze. <laughs> it's a breeze. <laughs> it's a bit of a slab, though. Nice. Nah, well, yeah. It's that pink pop up again, isn't it? Yeah. You better deal with that because a pike's yeah, going to turn that off. Mr. Pike's going to come along in a minute. Yeah, I'll net it. Oh, I nearly fell in the lake then. There you go. Second bream of the day. Two snot bags. Third one on the, uh, well, you've had, yeah, double the amount of bream I've had. Get her back in to fight another day. There you go. To piss someone else off. You can't say that. They love me on your YouTube. Well, they're still recording. So they love me! Old Leo's turned up, Leo McDonald's, isn't he? Whee, happy days, tuck in. <laughs> Wrap of the day. Here we go then, it is giveaway time. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for 500 subs. 
on YouTube. That's why we're doing this giveaway. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I've self-funded it, paid 100% myself for this, three um, 50 pound vouchers for Angden Direct. So what I'll do is the winners of them, I'll do a draw, um, I'll announce it in next week's video. So make sure you watch next week's video to find out, but I will do a live, uh, a live draw or maybe Instagram or Facebook, I'm not too sure. But to win those three different, you can enter all three of them but you can only enter each one once. And if you enter one more than once, then unfortunately you will be void from winning um, that voucher. But basically what you have to do is go down in the comment section on this YouTube video. You have to be subscribed and then you have to comment win in the comment section below. And that's a win one 50 pound voucher. Um, there's also gonna be a giveaway on Instagram. So there'll be a post on there. Go ahead on there, follow me comment win on the post on Instagram and that'll be your chance to win the second voucher and the third voucher is going to be on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook, South Coast Angler, comment on the post, win and obviously if you enter once on Instagram, once on Facebook, once on this YouTube video, you could potentially win all three but like I said guys, please only enter each one once or uh, yeah, unfortunately you'll be taken out of the competition because I want it to be fair for everybody but you have to be subscribed because like I say, this is for my subscribers. It's me I've given away something to you to say thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. And like I said, I will be doing a live draw on Instagram or Facebook. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll probably do that on like the Saturday and then I'll upload the video obviously on Sunday at five and I'll just confirm in the video next Sunday who's won. Good luck. We've probably got about half an hour left before we're going to pack up and leave. I mean, I've slowly started packing up the shelters away so left the bag down there but I'll make sure I grab that before I shoot off um yeah I don't know it's been one of them days you know like I said I wasn't too prepared for it it wasn't one that I was taking too seriously and um yeah I'll be honest with you it was a bit of a doss about so um one guy had a fish over the back of the island over there I couldn't see how big it was but um yeah Jordan had a couple of bream I've had that bream on that, that wafter in the left-hand margin um, in terms of carp, like I say, very, very quiet. So this could be the last clip I filmed today. I'm hoping that there'll be another one after this and it'll be me holding a big 25 pound carp, but the chances are very, very slim, I think. Again, I think we've only got about half an hour left. So thank you for watching this one. As always, guys, please remember to like, comment, win in the comment, in, in the script, in the comment box down below. Um, and obviously on uh, Instagram, go and follow me on there. Comment win on the post on there. And the same with Facebook. Go and follow me on Facebook and comment win on there. And you can win yourself a £50 voucher. Like I say, I will be doing the, uh, the live draw um, on Facebook or Instagram. I'm not sure yet. But you've got until Friday, 6pm is your cutoff. That is when we will go live and do the draw. Yeah, Friday at 6. Make sure you're in it to win it. Comment win. And thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next Sunday at five. Well, I am back home now and I just want to say before I go, I want a big, massive shout out to Sean the chef. I've got home from a very unsuccessful day fishing and I've come home to an absolute treat. Oh my God, look at these treats I've been sent by Sean the chef. It, oh, pfft. I'm gonna go through what he sent me. So I've got a milky bar cookie, a Halloween millionaire shortbread, a fruit and nut bar, a dairy milk flapjack, a mint arrow, and a Snickers. Oh my God. And guys, please go and check out Sean the Chef. That's his Instagram there. Even if you're not planning on buying anything from Sean, I mean, you definitely will end up buying something from him. But even if you don't want to, just go and check out his Instagram because honestly, he his stories, he'll make you so hungry. He makes the best food ever and these delicious, sweet treats. So thank you very much, Sean. I'm going to sit down and work my way through these now. Wow, thank you, mate.